America's school children have been trapped in a government-run monopoly. The blob, a so-called public school system that stifles most all innovation. So schools don't improve. It's not for lack of money. We've tripled what we spend on K-12 education. But test scores don't go up. The good news is that there are all kinds of alternatives now that allow kids to escape the government monopoly. And now here's one, uh, one more that I think you will be interested in if you watch my shows. Uh, it's because it was created by none other than libertarian congressman Ron Paul. For homeschoolers, you're introducing the Ron Paul curriculum, which is what? Well, the curriculum is a, a freedom curriculum. It's based on the freedom philosophy and those things I've talked about now for 30 years, especially in the last five years. So if you're talking about economics, it's going to not be Keynesian. I mean, everybody knows I'm not going to teach Keynesian economics. It's going to be Austrian free market. But you're not going to go into every home and teach. How's it going to work? Well, it's going to be homeschooling. It's going to be through the Internet. If we study the Constitution, we don't want to read it out of one of those textbooks that's so biased. They're going to read the Constitution, but they will have also a lecturer to do video lectures that the uh, young people can watch at their own speed. And uh, it, it's going to be designed to get people to read. It's going to be designed to people write. It's going to be designed to think about businesses and how to, how to interact. So uh, I'm very encouraged by this, and uh, hopefully uh, we can participate in this transition away from the disaster that's happening in our public school system. And you're going to charge homeschoolers about 250 bucks. A whole family. But who needs to pay you? Stossel in the classroom, my charity. It's free, and the teachers can get these free videos, right. some of which you're on, yeah, matter, matter uh, of explaining fact, in economics. Matter of fact, in the book, we mention about some of the free ones, but we have to you know, sell our programs. But ours, is, uh, ours will be uh, free from kindergarten up to fifth grade. So that's a, you know, a pretty good start. I went through public school system, 12 years of it, but it's different today. And people are suffering. They don't know what to do, but the, there's so much poor education. There's so much crime, so many drugs and problems in public schools. The parents are looking for something. And there are a lot of options now. You have private school options, which some people can't afford. But homeschooling is affordable. You know, it, it isn't. It isn't that bad. There are some free courses out there, and some are inexpensive, and the people are gravitating that way, and they get a much better education. Just think of how well the homeschoolers have done. You know, when it comes to uh, competing with they public schools, they win the spelling bees and the geography. Math. They don't even teach geography anymore. That used to be my favorite subject. Now they don't even want to teach it anymore. They tried to close down or prevent the homeschoolers from developing in the 1980s, but the major case in Texas was one that they more, argued that we have to have uniform state education. Yes. Parents won't do a good job, and it turned out not to be the case. If they closed down homeschooling and private schooling, which they are going to continue to try to do, because what I'm afraid of is they're going to have a regulation when we do real well in homeschooling to come along and say one of the qualifications to get in college is that you have to have a degree from such and such school, no matter how smart they are, because otherwise we'll take the money from you. If push comes to shove, they might try something like that. But right now, the momentum is on our side. The, the numbers of people who About 3% of the school kids now are home yeah. schools it, going it, up. What's, what's the motivation to keep them? They get more money. You know, they're, they're paid according if to students. If they're in the public, yeah. the government system. And, and the strongest group that wants to defend that public school system, of course, is the biggest union in the country, and that is, of course, the teachers' union.